So let us learn how to create the database tables from out of scratch means uh, from the problem description. So we have constructed one year model and we learn how to map to tables. After that also we learn how to implement those tables using Oracle. So let us first start with a year model of a banking database system. In fact, very small requirements are reflected here. We have uh, four number of uh, entity sets like customer, account, branch, loan. And here, the relations we look at here, uh, if you look at the branch and account, one branch has many accounts, but account cannot belongs to more than one branch. And second one is that between the branch and loan, one branch can have many loans, but a loan cannot belongs to more than one branch. So that's why it is the mapping cardinality is what many to one from the loan to branch. And look at the depositor, it's a binary relationship between the customer and the account. It is a many, many relationship. That means one customer can have more than one account. At the same time, an account can belong to more than one customer. So look at here, this, this is a total participation. I mean, all accounts, they must belong to the customers, but this is a partial participation. That means a customer may or may not have any account. Similarly, if you look at the borrowers, it is a binary many, many relationship between the customer and the loan that indicates that a customer can have, can have more than one loan or may not have any loan because it is a partial participation, but all loans must belong to the customer and a loan can be a joint loan taken by more than one customer. And let us uh, map to tables. The rule, let us, I mean, there are four entity sets. Let us create four tables. First of all, one for customer, then account and branch. Now here, look at here, this is a binary one to many type from the branch to account. That means rule says that while you are creating a table for the account and branch, include the primary key of the one side that is called branch name as a foreign key in the relation of what? Your many side that is called what? Your account. Now we include branch name as a foreign key. Now this foreign key must refer to the primary key that is branch name of the branch. Similarly, if you look at the branch and loan that is binary one to many from branch to loan, you create a relation for the loan and because of one many include the primary key of the one side that is branch name as a foreign key in the relation of the loan that is the many side relation we include branch name as a foreign key so this should refer to the primary key branch name of the branch now coming to the depositor since it is a binary many many we have to create a relation for the relationship set that is called depositor and we have to include the primary key of both entity sets customer id and account number collectively that defines the primary key for the depositor but individually they are the foreign keys referencing to whom the i mean customer id referred to customer id of customer and account number referred to the account number of account similarly for the borrowers you create a relation and include the primary key of both entity sets customer id and loan number collectively that defines the primary key for the borrower but individual they are the foreign keys and uh, any additional constraints other than the primary key foreign key let us define like customer city must be either bhubaneswar or Kata. in short we have written dbsr or CTC for the quarter and your branch name of the branch must be not null. The balance of account should be greater than 500 in addition to the foreign key that, that we have that is branch name. In the loan, the amount should be greater than zero in addition to branch name as a foreign key. And uh, there are also total participation we found in the binary many one that is account to branch as well as loan to branch. And these are the total participation. Now, question is how to implement those partic total participations. So, what I have to do is that look at here if we we'll, if we'll create or interpret this one, that means a branch can have many accounts and all accounts they must belong to the branch. Fine. And uh, this partial participation indicates a branch may or may not have any accounts. But when we, we are looking at the account side, all accounts must belong to the branch. So, that can be implemented by making your foreign key in account as a not null. Look at here, we have to make branch name in account as a not null. Similarly, in the loan also, the branch name should be not null. Now, let us first create all the tables, whatever we have discussed. After that, we have to implement the total participation constraint through the alter table command. And let us switch over to Oracle. Now, let us create the customer table, which consists of customer ID as a primary key and customer name it is back at to 15 let us define and it should be not null then customer street it is back at to 15 
and customer city we want to make it per cap to 10 and we want to define domain constraint that the city must be either bhubaneswar or katak so in short we write bbsr for bhubaneswar and ctc for the katak now look at table is created then let us create the table that is called your branch consists of branch name as a primary key and we define as a sorry, character 6 and your branch city also you want to make it as a not null we can define not null this is a constraint now table is created let us create the account table create table account account number it is a primary key let us define it as a character 6 then balance it is a number type and we have to define one constraint that balance should be greater than 500 so that we can define through the check constraint and your uh, branch name so it is a foreign key that should refer to the branch name which is a primary key of the branch table we have written branch name references branch branch name now let us create a loan table again loan number uh, it is a primary key and amount of loan that we want to make it that uh, number type and the uh, the loan amount should be greater than zero that also we have to declare through a check constraint we write amount greater than zero and the branch name again it is a foreign key referencing to the branch name of the branch table we write branch name references branch of branch name then the next table is called your depositor so that consists of your customer id it is it is reference to the customer id of the customer and uh, account number also that is a um, primary that is a foreign key here but that should refer to the primary key account number of account table so both of us both i mean account number and customer id both have the foreign keys in depositor but collectively that defines the primary key we write primary key customer id comma account number and table is created next is your uh, that is called borrower create table borrower again the customer id also character 6 uh, it will be a foreign key in borrower because it will refer to the customer id of customer table and loan number another also will declare loan number it will be a foreign key referencing to the loan number of loan table and collectively these two foreign keys defines the primary key for the borrowers So let us implement the total participation constraint by making the foreign key as not null. So in the account table as loan table, alter table loan, that is modify your the, the foreign key that is called branch name character 6 not null. So by this way we can make it not null. Similarly in the account table also we can write that uh, alter table table name that is modify foreign key and type size then not null.